Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to Keys Time. I'm TJ. I thank you for tuning in once again. I truly do appreciate it. Uh, today is a good day. Uh, shower pan is in. Uh, it's not installed, but I got it in the mail. Uh, but right now, I'm going to go through and I have to measure, just make sure all the measurements are correct to fit into the space that's back there. Uh, and we definitely need to make space back there. So I'm going to make a run to store to just kind of clean up some of like the clutter, like uh, cardboard boxes. Uh, just need uh, room to work. Uh, but I'm going to go, I'm going to measure, make sure everything is good. Uh, stainless steel. Uh, so this is the, the space that I have, like standing in. we we'll use like my shoe as a comparison for size wise. So you got like a little footprint of like the space, the area that you have. It's uh, good for what you need it for to get in, do what you need to do and get out. Uh, but it does come with, uh, well, the kit that I came from, like every, depending on where you're getting your shower pan or whatever from, because of different things. But I do have to get like a bunch of adapters. Uh, so this is a brass, it's a two inch uh, PVC, a schedule 40. That'll go through there. So I'm gonna end up having to drill a hole through the floor back there. Uh, and I do need a bunch of PVC. So I do have like some PVC pipe and storage. I gotta make a parts run also to just get stuff situated and ready in preparation to do uh, the propane and the water lines. But uh, in this video, I just wanna get like the shower area situated. I'm gonna try to get the shower area situated with the pan in place and try to do the walls, get everything sealed up. So that way all I have to do is uh, plumb all the pipe to where it needs to go. Uh, so right now, uh, we're gonna measure. We can do that right now, actually. Uh, we're gonna measure to make sure all the dimensions are correct and where they need to be. Uh, this is supposed to be uh, 22 and a half. We have 22 and a half, that's cool. And then for this side, where are my measurements? So that was 22 and a half. Uh, this is 25 and a half right here, or wait, wait, wait. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. So this is supposed to be a 26 and a half on this corner. Like the picture's a little uh, skewed. <coughs> So I thought it said, it said 25, but I had 26, but it's supposed to be 26 and a half. So you have 26 and a half, give or take an eighth. That's cool. And then on this corner right here, this is supposed to be a 16th and one eighth. And we're right there in spec, so that's cool. Uh, so we have like this one inch lip that kind of comes around this whole perimeter. Uh, so the plan is uh, insulation and then more wall paneling like this, because this is for like a wet room. Uh, so that should be able to take care of like moisture. And I'm gonna need a vapor barrier also just for like condensation and stuff like that behind the walls. We wanna try to get keep moisture to a minimum and we don't want water to get behind the walls. Uh, so uh, yeah, we have that. And then also I do have, uh, like a shower rod that's coming it's a curved one but that's going to be like at a later date uh, for this video like the main important part for this is getting a hole drilled through the floor and getting the walls up and everything like caulked and sealed and then everything else after that will be somewhat simple like for all the fixtures for the wall since it'll be drilling through like this material plus insulation i could do that at a later date and that'll be like a quick hole and then i just have to adjust like behind the wall here like those little ribs you see and then I could just have something to clamp and mount to. So, like, we'll take care of that. But uh, enough talking. Let me get to storage. <laughs> Let me make some space. Clear out some of this space. Give myself something to work. Especially since I have to work back there. And that bucket or that trash pan or trash bin. <laughs> not a pan. The trash bin, uh, that needs to go. Like, that's the scrap wood. But, like, I don't like to throw away the scrap wood until, like, I'm actually done with, like, all last cuts which I believe I'm done, but like, I don't want to get rid of that and end up needing it. Uh, so uh, we do have like a scrap run to come, but like, I'm just gonna go throw that in storage for the time being, and then we'll go from there. But uh, storage clean, uh, parts run, uh, we'll be back. <laughs> All right, so we're back from storage. We're back from doing our part runs. We went to Lowe's. We, uh, well, I did pick up my order because I guess I put my order in for the wrong store, but I had to reshop to get what I needed. Uh, so I got what I needed. 
Uh, I already had the the inch and a half. I had to pick up uh, some two inch. That's for the drain on the shower, and a bunch of various fittings. Uh, propane is coming. Uh, just a bunch of fittings: caulk, sealant, uh, hair trap for the drain, a saw to cut through the floor, uh, silicone hole sealer, foam sealer. Uh, denatured alcohol to degrease before I caulk. Uh, vapor barrier right here, which I'm going to use for vapor barrier. Uh, pre cut shower pan liner. Add that. Uh, we have the shower pan in place, so this is where it's going to live. So it fits. Uh, so right now, I got these two by fours. I have to line up going up against the, the wall right here. That kind of just gives this space right here uh, for the water lines to go behind it. And then we have to build up the wall. But before we build up the wall, I have this right here. Uh, this is quarter inch ply. That's going under it. Uh, that's just to fill up the space for the diamond plate. And then we're going to do the vapor barrier on top of that. And then we're going to drill through, get everything lined up for where our hole will be. And then out there, uh, there's foam insulation and uh, more wall paneling. Uh, so that's what I'm going to use for the walls. Uh, so r right now, I want to focus on actually getting uh, the walls and this actually in place in a hole in the floor. So that way we can just get to the point where we just have to like route all our uh, plumbing or pipe or PVC uh, water lines. Uh, so we're in the middle just kind of buttoning up, getting things uh, situated. Uh, so you saw like a little bit of two come. There was a propane fitting. That's for the stove. I do have fittings and stuff for that already. Uh, so uh, we're at the point right now of just trying to like get everything assembled. I have everything I need. I believe I have everything I need. With a project, there's things that will pop up. Uh, but like just to get to paint, cabinets, water, propane, so we can cook. We can actually wash our hands like a normal person instead of having to use a gojo outside with a bottle of water. Uh, but let me get into it. I have to mark, or I got to do like a lot of measuring just so I could get like the the floor situated where actually I don't really need to do a lot of measuring because I can just trace the floor pan on the quarter inch and then just uh, cut for that put the vapor barrier on top uh, measure for the walls of course we got to make sure uh, everything is nice and clean we have to go all the way to the ceiling with that and we have to our little uh, finishing strips uh, right here like these and actually I might need to go back to storage because I do have more like trim like this in storage. So uh, at least we could get our pieces try get our pieces cut out right now. And all this is gonna be on one video. You're not gonna see like a multi video for this. Uh, well, for the install of like the shower and the walls and stuff. But uh, foam, vapor barrier, wall paneling, and I'll take care of the walls and for the floor. It's gonna go uh, that quarter inch uh, vapor barrier, the membrane, pan, and then we just have to figure out the center point for that hole. So we drill once, so measure twice, three, four, however many times it takes you to get it right, and we should be good. But right now, I'm gonna get my two by fours drilled into uh, the walls. I believe I already marked where the, yeah, like where these are, these are where like the beams are. So uh, that's where we're gonna get to two by fours, but uh, we have to go all the way to the ceiling so we have a nice clean line all the way up to the top so there's no gaps up there. And we're just gonna seal everything in. And then after that, we can do our, uh, our fixtures, like our knobs for our shower heads, all that stuff will come at a later date. But right now we just gotta get this in place. So yeah.
All right, so right now I have this. This is kind of like the mini subfloor that a uh, quarter inch, and this is just the vapor barrier for it to sit on. Uh, we're gonna do vapor barrier on the insulation going around. Uh, for the insulation, it might not need a uh, vapor barrier. So like if I run out, I'm gonna be cool. Like if I don't have full coverage, but at least I want to get like the the lower portion is gonna be covered. And then I do have a uh, liquid nail to put that on, but like I want to get like the holes drilled and everything first uh, before I put this on because then I'll probably just add some weight to uh, the, the shower pan uh, to make sure like it, it's glued and the same when I add the like the expanding foam around the hole eventually uh, for now I'll probably just drill and just fill it with like uh, some tissue or paper towels or something just so that the crawls in there uh, but like when I do the expanding foam definitely want to have some weight so it doesn't lift the shower pan up and I removed these two screws uh, so that way like if I ever do have to like take this diamond plate off because there's access to the top of the fuel tank I could just uh, unscrew these and I could get this whole plate off just slide it under uh, slide it that way so you don't want any glue on this uh, glue here and then like this will lay over like so and it should be good and then for the pan And the pan will sit like so and it's just kind of like a little because all the moisture condensation or whatever uh, that's what the vapor barrier is for uh, so right now that's in there that's good everything lines up nicely uh, so right now we got to get the foam cut to fit in these and probably have to clear cut a little bit off the foam just so that could cover like that little lip right there and then the wall paneling will go in around that but uh yeah definitely gotta just measure just in case like the wall is off especially like for this side uh, i'm gonna do like a uh, width on both the top well the bottom and the top and then just kind of the height to get that to sit in there uh nice for uh the foam and for the wall paneling but uh yeah or actually but before we do that probably need to do that hole so uh yeah the hole don't want to mess up the hole uh yeah hole i did measure for it already at the bottom just to make sure it didn't hit any ribs uh but like it's wider than i was expecting it should be good i'm gonna send it through and we'll have a hole in the floor for the drain but uh yeah like i'm pleased with it like how it looks how it sits yeah but uh let me get the whole saw out we'll get a hole in the floor and then we'll build well actually we do a hole in the floor and then we could do our glue for that and let that like the weight and everything sit on that where that's gonna live and then we'll build around that so uh yeah let's get it a little bit of a dilemma i said oh i don't want to cut through the rib the reinforcement it's directly going through the rib the reinforcement oh uh, so uh yeah i'm gonna i already started the hole my might as well finish the hole uh but yeah like it's it's on the reinforcement so i'm gonna send a hole straight all the way through so i have like a hole that's directly on the opposite side of that uh so we could line that up and catch it and match it but uh let me show you from the bottom and I've got my goggles so I don't have like shavings falling in my eyes but as you can see that rib I wasn't planning on trying to cut through that uh yeah so uh that sucks 
But uh, I'm gonna make do. Like I said, I'm gonna drill straight through so I have a hole to catch so I can drill up and come down and hopefully get that to line up and get a, that chunk out. Uh, it still will work. Uh, the PVC pipe just has to come down a little longer. It's gonna make like a cut like that. So uh, yeah, we just gotta figure that out. But uh, yeah, yeah, dilemmas, projects, problems. Got problems. Uh, but I'm gonna keep on going. We're gonna get it done, get a hole. There's other ribs on the sides. The framework from the wood, from this and this, should reinforce and keep that from being an issue. So that's how I'm justifying that. But I'm gonna keep on going with the mess up. We're gonna make this mess up. Uh, not a mess up. <laughs> We're gonna fix it and make it right. So I got problems, I got solutions. Uh, We're not just gonna leave it alone. We're gonna make it happen. But uh, yeah, double check your measurements. I could have swore like I double checked. Maybe I was off. Maybe I wrote down the wrong number. I don't know. Or I wasn't planning on the hole being that big, but it is what it is. And we're gonna make it work. So that's the hole. <laughs> this is the reinforcement that I cut through. Uh, we made it. It's a nice clean cut. So uh, that's a plus. It's just unfortunate that I went through the reinforcement, but like it'll still work out fine. I'm gonna get the shop vac in here and get this uh, vacuum down and cleaned up. And uh, I'm gonna show you uh, the drain. Yeah, but uh, let me get this cleaned up and we'll continue with get the drain situated in the hole and uh, put some uh, glue, some, uh, where is it? some uh, liquid nail under this uh, right here, the vapor barrier, the plastic underlayment. Uh, but yeah, hole is done. I think this is probably the hardest part of the job. Uh, so uh, yeah, but uh, clean up, get to the drain, get some glue on there, and yeah. All right, so this is all cleaned up here. Uh, right now, we need to focus on the drain right here. Uh, this is why the hole is so big. Uh, so that way, it fits like in there once you get like everything screwed on there. Uh, we don't have any issues. Whoa, almost lost it. Uh, but the hole's right here. Uh, so this design, uh, you unscrew this as this sits. Well, we got multiple pieces. Uh, this sits like so in the hole. And then like that in the hole, so it goes so it goes like so and then you tighten that down on the back side with this right here this ring and you use like a hammer and a, a screwdriver or a chisel uh, to get that tight uh, then this is the grate right here this lives on that but before or after depending on how you're going to install this uh this takes a two inch uh 40 inch or two inch pvc a uh, schedule 40 it goes in and then once you have that in uh you use this ring right here to tighten it and it's a compression ring so it'll tighten around that uh so we need to focus on just getting this on here and get it set in place and then that will be good to go so uh we could do that at a later date uh but just for the hole just to get everything put in place and we could also do i want to glue this to the floor do i want to glue the whole pan to the floor i know i want to glue i just throw a little bit of glue on the bottom of the the quarter inch some glue under the vapor barrier and do i want to put a little glue under the pan hmm decisions decisions because if i put a little glue it'll keep it from sliding and moving and keeping it in place yeah i'll add a little glue why not let's make it semi-permanent if <laughs> if need be i could always just pry it up and have to like rebuild like the bottom so uh yeah we're gonna glue all of that but i'm gonna get this tightened we'll get a screwdriver 
I already have my hammer. Oh, that's bright. All right, so we got the glue, we got some, some weight on top, just let that set. I get cutting on the foam insulation to get those walls up, and we're gonna glue also, uh, like we just did with the bottom, we're gonna glue all the little pieces of insulation in. So, uh, yeah, but uh, let me get that stuff cut. I'm not gonna show you. I'm gonna just use a box cutter to cut it. I'm gonna draw on it like permanent marker uh, and then just cut and break the pieces that I need. I'm not gonna show you that. I don't know if I showed like what I was doing, like the walls and the back door, like you see a little bit of uh, insulation poking through. Uh, that's been covered already. So I'm just gonna save you the hassle of, of me being repetitive. Uh, and I'm just gonna get that stuff cut and you're just gonna see me assembling stuff. So that cut and also the wall panel, you already saw that also. So I'm not gonna show that. I'm gonna get my measurements, I'm gonna get stuff cut and you'll see assembly, yeah. All right, so this is what we have so far. I have the insulation up right here. It's glued in, uh, so it's good. It shouldn't go anywhere. Uh, right now, I have to figure out the wall paneling. Uh, I probably don't actually even need to do vapor barrier on the wall itself. Like, it should be fine. But I'm gonna just go ahead and just try to line it up and see how it looks and just see like if I feel like I need to or if I feel like it's a pain. I don't think I actually need it with the foam backing. I don't have to worry about uh, like moisture on like wood and stuff like that. Like if it's wood to like the uh, wall paneling, then definitely want to do a vapor barrier. Uh, but like for that, for this, the foam, I don't think it's really necessary. Uh, but yeah, everything's working out. Everything's lining up nice. It's coming together lovely. I have caulk. <laughs> I have wall paneling. Uh, the paneling's out there. I need to get that stuff uh, cut. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get that situated and uh, fix, uh, figure out how to adhere. I'm going to use glue, but then I also have like staple uh, gun little nails uh, where I, there's not a staple gun that can actually shoot them. There's like an inch and a half and two, so I have to drill and get those in. But like I want to go around the edges uh, so that way when I put the caulk and stuff on there, that will seal that up and you will, it'll be nice and smooth. You won't see like the little border edges like how I have on these. You won't see that. It'll just be a wall paneling, wall paneling alone. Uh, so that's the goal. That's what I'm thinking in my head. And then like just caulk like all the, the corners and the edges and seals. And it should be uh, watertight. So uh, let, let me cut. Let me get stuff situated and get this going.
I have my clamps up holding everything in place so that the glue could set and I already went ahead and added the silicone bead to all the spots where it needs it except for that back corner because I'm using that to brace uh, but like I might actually put like trim pieces up top and that will help like secure hold that up but that back corner right there was trying to like roll in uh, so that's gonna be questionable but like if I put trim up there and actually like screw it in we don't have to worry about the wall paneling uh, like coming down or falling and then everything is siliconed at the bottom it's a little sloppy when it dries I could go back through with like a razor blade razor blade and scrape that up to get that situated uh, but all the walls are up we have our uh, what do we have our foam we have our vapor barrier and then we have the FRP the wall paneling you see here all the white uh, so all that's on we're gonna let that set and then we'll do uh, plumbing and stuff will be like a different video another day and then like for fixtures uh, that would just be a matter of just picking out what I want uh, so uh, yeah so there's that there's gonna be like a hole for like drilling and stuff but uh the usual drilling holes drilling holes but uh the walls are up uh i feel like it's shit. but right now i need to figure out a location for our shower head and then also our uh, heat control knob and shower rod so our shower rod is in this box right here and this is what i have shower curtain shower head right here uh, so we're gonna get that open uh, we're gonna get that checked out and you do have to gain access to the back of the wall so luckily like I have this panel right here that slides out so I could gain access to make life easier for more and we're gonna do that and I'm gonna open this to see like what size hole I need to drill and if I need to add like caulk or whatever but we're gonna get like the shower it's gonna be a uh, like situated to the point of just uh, plumbing, like adding the pipes and uh, the PEX and PVC, all that stuff. Uh, but like at least this will be done except for like that back upper area right there behind that wood. I didn't add silicone there just simply because of uh, like the brace it with the wood and like that corner was kind of coming down, but like the shower rod should help with that. Uh, for the shower rod, I plan on putting it like screwed here. It's a 90 degree curve, so it should come out and then curve and then finish like here or even finish like here somewhere but uh that's the goal and that should help keep that back up and also with like the caulk that'll keep the wall like in place and everything is glued behind it uh so it's been set up it's been sitting for like it's been like a week or so uh so like everything should be bonded to the point right now where it's good and i could just have to clean up like the caulk and stuff like around or add more of db at the top and bottom uh so that's going to be before we actually uh have running water going through just make sure everything is correct and good to go uh but right now let me get everything like unboxed and let me actually show you what we have So a lot of assembly is required. <laughs> uh, this looks, you have this. We have our knob. That's for the temperature control right there. Uh, various accessory screws assembly required. shower head it's got a gasket in there but we could also add some teflon tape to this also just to make sure you know it does what it needs to do and this is what's the control for like your hot cold uh, this goes behind the wall you have to gain access to that so you'll have hot come in or cold come in either side got to figure that out and that will go up to the shower head that will be the where the water comes out at the top piece uh but let me go through and try to look at this some instructions just to see how to assemble uh, what holes need to be drilled and what sizes i need but yeah all right so looking through the instructions it seems like i don't have everything i need to install the shower head it says that, uh, where is it? Uh, 
Uh, recommended installation of the shower arm is with a flange elbow fitting, not included, <laughs> and attached to a wood brace. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so I need to get that figured out, or I need to get that part, but, like, we're not going to do that. Uh, that'll probably be included uh, with, like, actual plumbing. I don't know, but I don't have the parts that I need to actually install, and I don't want to start drilling into the wall if I don't have the parts that I need anyway. Uh, so we're going to skip that. Uh, let's get, like, the, the shower rod at least uh, put up. And uh, that will finish that. And then we just worry about uh, plumbing at another day, another time. Uh, but right now, shower rod. And bada boom, bada bing, it's in, it's installed, it's finished. We have all our walls up. We have our shower rod up. Shower curtain is situated. Actually has the right height, so it sits lower. I might need to add like some little uh, magnet strips with like some double stick just so that the magnets have something to sit, to stick to, to keep it from uh, like blowing on the outside, letting the water come out. Uh, but we can take care of that at the later date. I did have to hurry up and clean up. It started to rain outside. Uh, yeah, so I was able to get my rods cut. We got it installed. We got it finished. Uh, only thing left, we have to get our uh, like our fixtures, our uh, shower head, our uh, temperature adjust, and also just like the plumbing of stuff. But like I thought this would be a lot harder than I thought it would be to do. And then also we do have that top edge, which I could add some uh, silicone to now that like everything is uh, adhered to the wall. Everything is in place. And everything feels good and sturdy. Uh, and also like the shower rod will help keep stuff in place too where it needs to be. And then just like that uh, silicone up top, we should be good. I just make sure you can see up top and we'll be good. Uh, but yeah, everything's up. It's sturdy, uh, not sturdy enough to uh, do a pull up on like our uh, hanger over here. Uh, definitely want to suggest trying to hang from that. That will break. But uh, it's in there, it'll serve its purpose, it'll do what it needs to do. Uh, and it's not the biggest, but it's big enough to get in, do what you need to do. Uh, if shower, like at the gym or uh, truck stop or wherever, you need to find a spot to take a shower, isn't available, uh, you have this. So i still be able to get clean, you need that shower, you need to stay clean, you take care of yourself. So until next Wednesday, so until next Wednesday, uh... Yeah, it's all about the walls you surround yourself with. I said they could be for defense mechanisms. They could be to encourage, to support, to build, to push you ahead. But all about how you use your walls. Peace, DJ.